Perfect. Perfect. All right, so we're back on this bloody Mercedes again, and this time we had water in the oil, but no oil in the water. So uh, that means that the water is under pressure, but the oil isn't, if that makes sense. Anyway, I just started undressing the motor because this is all the same stuff that I did in the last video. The only difference is I took the power steering pump off this time. Uh, it turns out there's one bolt that goes through here that you can access with this in place. I almost took it off before I realized. And there's two bolts underneath. And that comes off in a couple of these little wire things. Uh, anyway, and then there's a bunch of bolts for the water pump and blah, 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 blah. Uh, so when we took this off, I stuck my finger in there and could feel the seal that seals this case, timing case, to the block. And that felt okay. But then I stuck my finger in this hole and that was where the fun stuff started. So this looks like a busted franger coming out of the bloody thing but in fact someone has just wiped silicon all through here you can see a little bit of it just there but about that far in so right in there there is just tons of this stuff probably can't see anything but it is disgusting so what's happened is this problem has come up before and they've decided that that's where the problem is which in what I can read online that is and instead of taking off every single accessory on the motor and uh, the entire cover, I think you have to drop the sump too to fix it, they just good it up which, you know, I would say is fair enough but I have to deal with it so it's not fair enough so screw you guys, whoever did this so yeah, so at the moment I'm taking this throttle body off, there's like four bolts and one plug that was here and that should come off and that will help give me access to the supercharger mounts, there's two bolts here that I can see that attach to this front uh, pan thing and then the air conditioner is down there so I don't even know where to start with that but we'll just keep cruising along we don't have to take too much more off but yeah the uh, the main crank bolt was extremely tight so get a friend to help you with that if you can and we also have to take off the sump bolts and luckily a few more in order to like drop this down tilt it forward and lift it out so it's gonna be a whole lot of fun so hopefully I don't break anything and we can resurrect this car for the price of like $30 worth of seals. All right, so I'm back working on the Mercedes again today and uh, it's bloody hot out here. But anyway, so I got the timing case off finally. So if you ever have to do these water pump O-rings, do it when the head's off or, you know, cause like this is literally the head gasket. That there is the head gasket. So it's a little bit of a pain. You take off rocker cover this front plate, your water, um, thermostat housing and everything. Then you need to take out this chain guide tensioner and the, um, you know, in hindsight, you don't have to take this one out, but I did because I didn't know what was behind there. Uh, and then there are two bolts in here. This one is difficult to get because this is directly in the way. So get creative, try not to ruin it. I almost did. Uh, you got your four top bolts, which in hindsight you don't have to take out um, and then there's like a ton of bolts down the front of here so that eventually gives you access water pump holes so you can see all the silicon around this one all that there so that was where our problem was and the reason I can tell it's definitely where our problem was you see all this oil build up all this sludge so this is all oil mixed with water coming out of here into there and then eventually it just drops down into this stuff so you can see down in there there's a bit more in the sump but yeah, everywhere else on this timing cover is clean as a whistle, except for right here, right where these two seals are. So you can see that this one has swelled way too big, and although this one fits, it leaks like a sieve. So I don't know what this plastic thing is. Well, uh, there's lots of uh, gunk down in there. So we'll pull all this out and see where we're at. But that is definitely a problem here. So I've got two more seals on the way from Mercedes at the moment. And yeah, pretty much you're just going to have to clean off all the goo that was um, put on from Mercedes. Uh, and then reseal the sump and reseal all this. That was the other thing underneath the car. I'm not going to get under there because I'm too lazy. But there was some belly pan on the sump. You just got to unpick 
three of these little buggers so you sort of just like wind them out of the way and they're a real pain in the ass bunch of p-clamps to hold these lines on and then all the sump bolts so i undid like two extra along the sides and then i got a pry bar in just here on this little tab and just went pop did the same up here just pop at the top I had to i take off the supercharger air conditioner alternator and the power steering all of that had to come off in order to get that front cover off but yeah in the end it was the sump bolts these two top ones this one timing one uh timing tensioner to get this bolt out and yeah all the ones on the front and then obviously the accessories so yeah that's pretty much it just got to replace those two seals and clean up all the silicon and screw it back together all right so these are the new uh o-rings for this uh, water pump gallery so the water pump obviously mounts to the other side of this and then there's two passages for the water to go in and out of the block stops moving all right so uh these are the two new o-rings and these are the two old ones so this one is the only one that's actually a ring this new one is um rectangular so by the looks of it the um the o-ring that was in here failed and they removed it and then they inserted this one in there and then put this plastic sleeve inside that and then filled it up with silicon to try and seal the plastic sleeve off so I guess it worked for a little while. They used quite a bit of silicon. But um, yeah, it looks like they had to like cut the hose to get it in. Then um, that split there, I presume, is where the leak was. Even that one, who knows. But um, yeah, this, uh, this seal wasn't really doing much because it's lower than the height of that and it sort of doesn't really fit in there. But the, uh, if I can get it out, new one fits much better so it's a little bit big so you sort of got to like squish it in once it's in there it's gonna be a great fit so that should fix your problem all right so first off now I'm going to apologize to anyone who's got mechanical sympathy or is a bit of a perfectionist like me when it comes to working on cars this is the wrong way to do it it is disgusting and I'm ashamed of myself but this engine plate is back on. It's all bolted up. Just these two bolts left to go in, the ones that go down here. So pretty much what I did was, I didn't take the head off, I didn't take the sump off. I undid uh, all the sump bolts across the front and then a couple down either side. Uh, and then I managed to get a pry bar into a little couple spots and like slowly and evenly wiggle this plate out. Fix the O-rings and replacement and everything. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. 